What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So it is time for the Golden Week promo on FIFA Mobile. So it is just dropping to tell you everything you need to know about. We're also going to be streaming all of this live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dot D. Make sure you're coming and follow us over there. Um, have an absolutely legendary time with the community there. Um, so if you're not already following us there, make sure you go to We're going to be live probably from the moment this video drops for the next like three hours after that. Um, so make sure you're coming and hanging out with us there. We'll go through this all in more detail, ask and answer any questions you got um, about sort of the, the guide and all of that. But today, right now, we're going to break down the event for you. We're going to show you everything you can get in this event free to play. Uh, basically, what you can expect out of this event in Golden Week. Not also following, you can also follow us on the Discord as well. We'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, like having lots of great conversations over there uh, with the community. But basically, this is what we got here. Golden Week, when you first get in, you get yourself three of the uh, the Romance Golden Week hearts that you can use in the Romance chapter. Um, so basically, you go through here, you open up three. You can see we opened up all three and got nothing. Um, so you can either get nothing or you can get one of these three items in here. Now, these, you can save them up as you usually do. It looks like you can get about 126 across the entire thing um, so like when you're going through it in, in each of the different events you can get about uh, about probably 126 is a little unclear because it's sort of hard to see exactly what you're gonna be able to do in the Western chapter um, but that's basically what it looks like you're gonna get there so you can save them up but it also seems from their guide that there's gonna be one per day so it almost looks like you're gonna get this Mendy you're only gonna see him once and it sort of seems like it's gonna go from highest to lowest so you might want to be kind of cautious about kind of how you go through that um, you can check the guide that they have on their Twitter page uh, to see all the different players that you can have if you want an idea. We'll also post a picture of it up right here so you can see which players um, are going to be available out of that chapter. Then we have this chapter here where basically you play unlimited grind through this, but once you've lost three times, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to go back to the start and you can restart. You can restart as many times as you want, but every time you lose, you have to go back and restart it. And then if you keep going, you can choose to keep going and advancing to the next path and the next path until eventually you can try and get yourself this uh, 90 six overall card here um but uh, i don't know it seems it's, it looks decent but it would be nice i feel like if you had some kind of higher rewards at the end of this although i do think that this is going to be one very very beastly uh left mid card the problem is we already have sancho for anybody who's done the spc um you know there's a bomb yang there's like a lot of really good left mid cards already um in that position as well but those are the cards you get there i don't know are they auctionable? And they're auctionable too. So probably by the end, you know, you if you can get them right away, you might be able to get some good coins from. But after that, you know, he probably will go down a little bit since um, it is basically achievable by everybody grinding through that as much as they want. Um, then we have this event. Now be careful here because there's two different uh, sides. One is more difficult than the other one. Uh, this is the normal one. This is the hard one. The only difference between them seems to just be skill boost. So you get skill boost on the bottom. You don't on the top. The points still seem to be the same. Ten for each. Um, ten, 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 and you get ten all. The the way along until you get to the end here so basically if you go through on your uh, on your top path or your bottom path you're going to get yourself 30 for or sorry 100 of these uh golden week points every time you go through and you're going to get yourself two four six of the golden week hearts you get three per day so it looks like you get nine for each refresh on here um, but the thing to keep in mind is you can only play this refresh once per day so you can see it expires in 24 hours and there's only one completion and you can only play one of the paths so pick the path at the start if if you go in and you start this one event and decide you want to change the other one it's going to lock it you're not going to see it so we actually accidentally did that on our uh, main account we just went in clicked it, and then we were no longer able to play the path below so you can only play one of these paths per day when you go through it you can watch this ad three times a day and you can purchase this once a day for three energy so basically each day you can get 24 energy you start with 15 um so you can get yourself about 335 energy over the whole time you can get 126 from the from the ads um, and 42 from the coin packs but the thing to be very clear about here is that since you can only play it once a day we're really limited to 14 times playing through this so what you really want to make sure you get is enough to play through the whole thing which each one of these is three there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are ten things you need to do so you need 30 points per day which is basically the 24 hours worth of stamina so you can't let that go over 15 for there um, and then the ads from that as well so if you do the stamina and the ads you're pretty much going to get enough so I'm not really sure why we have at we're gonna in the end you're gonna get almost three full rounds worth of extra stamina I'm not really sure what the case of that is maybe it will let you refresh it through but we can't really see that yet because you can't get stamina any other way than with the coin packs and I went through and you can basically only get to 
here from your starting stamina. So um, we'll have to see what that looks like when you start doing it, but be careful with that um, in the fact that you might not be able to just go through and grind all of them at the end. You might actually be restricted on that one as well. So it looks like at this point, we can get 1,400 golden week points. We'll show you what you can get for those after, um, and you can get yourself 14 of the hats. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's 14 rewards. You get them in different order, which kind of makes sense. Then you can get all the rewards if you do it. You also get yourself um, a hazard key if you do 10 of them. So it does look like 14 does seem likely because 17 cowboy hats doesn't really make any sense. Um, so not sure what's going to go on with that, but it'll be interesting to see what happens once we're able to go through the first time. And then over here in the rewards, you can see that we can get a Vidal here for 1,200 points. Um, so that really seems like you're either going to get Vidal for 1,200 points or you could get yourself, um, you know, two of the 92 overall players for 600 points or you can get any of the other 98 overall players. So basically, you can either get one 98 overall player or two of the 92 overall players and then you can use some of your extra things to get the coins and stuff like that if you want to as well. Um, once you claim all of them, then you can get the concession master players, um, including the 100 overall card. Looks absolutely beastly. There you go. Great pace. Um, and then obviously, if you claim six of them, you get yourself the prime icon Nakata card, which is a very nice looking card, but definitely um, very unobtainable free to play in this, um, as you can only get one of these masters from there, um, and you need to get six of them. Uh, it also looks though like you could get yourself this Casillas card um, from there as well. So it basically looks like you can get yourself um, from this one of any card of your choosing out of these basically seven cards that you want to get there. So that's basically the promo. That's everything that we got going on in that side of the promo. You play through the Western things. Uh, you go through the romance section to get your uh, daily refresh things, and then you go through this horror for this unlimited grind. So it seems like an interesting promo, um, kind of as remnants of like Lunar New Year. Um, I, you know, obviously at this point, um, it seems like it's unfortunately can't get maybe. Um, you know, more of that unlimited grind helping us towards getting the prime icon. I would love to see one of those events where we can just grind through and get the prime icon from that. Like that would have been kind of cooler for me about the stage thing as you went along that way. Um, but uh, I, I do like the idea that they've given us an ability of something to unlimited grind in this game. Um, you know, they've given us the ability to get a 98 overall player free to play um, as we're going through this as well. As long as you kind of grind every day, you get the hazard keys if you're continuing on your hazard challenge um, and you can get that free to play as well. So there you have it. Thank you for checking this out. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a pleasure to always stop deep.